Hello everyone, also here from RVT. So I was uh, decided to check on my beehive this weekend and uh, I actually came over, opened it up and uh, then I noticed a lot of activity in front of the hive so I thought you know they were bringing just regular um, pollen and stuff. It's in the middle of the fall so as you can see the trees are turning. And then when I got here and did the inspection everything looked good in there. But then I walked over here in front of the hive and then I noticed that uh, that it looked different. And uh, and I think that the hive was getting robbed. That was the first thing that came into mind. So I decided to, um, like I had those kind of opened where bees can get in. So I closed those out and hopefully that they can defend the uh, hive a little better right now because uh, you can see there's some there's one right there on the ground right now and uh, some of them are bringing back pollen but as soon as I saw like some fighting going on I decided to just go ahead and close it from this side and that side I think the, you know, I heard that during the fall, the bees, they get, they get uh, desperate. And they start, you know, because it's kind of hard to find uh, nectar. And since this is a, you know, a small colony, when I, when I got it, actually it's been growing up pretty quick. I mean, pretty good. Which I'm kind of glad of that. That way, you know, they can actually defend the hive. See right here. The tearing that will be a part and that's one of the robbers I'm assuming so they're doing their job now they have them all they holding it out like and there it goes on the bottom so hopefully they'll, now that I close the entrances, they'll be able to defend the hive and, uh, you know, stop it from getting robbed and hopefully they can defend themselves. Um, they seem, I mean, they seem to be doing pretty good. I don't see any dead bees on the bottom. They just usually attack them and then after that they, I, I guess they get up and start flying again. But that's how I could tell that they were getting robbed because they usually don't start fighting <laughs> right here in the at the entrance. I actually closed the uh, entrance right here. As you can see, it's reduced to the minimum, I guess, that I can get it to. Because they still have to be able to get in and out. So I heard that you can do different things. Like uh, put like a towel or something. And... Uh, like a towel in front of it, a blanket or something. But I don't want to do that because, you know, as you can see, they're still bringing pollen in there. And it seems like uh, ever since I closed those entrances right there, I, you can see right there. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there is actually bees right there trying to get out. Those probably are the rubber bees. Let me look in here. See right here? Those are trying to get in. But of course, you know, it can get in through there because there is a screen on the on the opposite side. Those are the vents. This is my only hive, so I'm really concerned about it. But if it continues like this, I'm just I'm just gonna like go ahead and do the blanket thing and put a towel over here somewhere or the or the towel. 
but then again you know I don't know how they're gonna get in there um, but hopefully that by me closing those two because I actually didn't have them open all the way I had it I had this right here um, kind of like open a little bit and this is just for bees to get it in and out um, there's bees in there but hopefully they'll be able to defend their, the hive so I'll be back later and then see what the status is here uh, if nothing changes then uh, I'm gonna have to come back and uh, put some blanket or something on here so I'm gonna go ahead and show you back in a minute All right, it's been like about maybe 15 minutes. Coming back over here and check this out. Looks like the uh, sun is covered by the uh, clouds over here. And it looks like they're still kind of fighting. I don't see as many bees over here on the side as I did like 15 minutes ago. There's still some of them flying around. So it looks a little better. Nothing on this side. So hopefully Hopefully I helped them out by closing those two and just leaving the, you know, letting the vent open. But, uh, I don't see as much fighting as I, w I was looking at earlier. And there's still some fighting going on sometimes. I only see one dead bee on the on the on the bottom. That one is just sitting there, and that one over there is the one that uh, we saw earlier when they were fighting. And that one is not a bee. Well, it, it might be a type. I don't know. It looks like a wasp to me. So. Even wasps are trying, trying to get in there. So I just saw another one dropped. Yeah, I think it's looking a lot better than how it was earlier. I'm glad that I'm not, I don't have to put a blanket over it. Um, but earlier, when I first noticed it, there were like a bunch of bees, like outside, like if they were bearding. But then when I got closer, I noticed that they were fighting. So that's why it made me think that there was something else going on. And that's why I decided to close those other entrances it's like I see some coming back
trying to scare it off so it can go away from here <laughs> uh, I think that temperature kind of dropped too so maybe that's why this stopped showing off more often I'm not sure but um, I think we're supposed to have rain tomorrow so hopefully uh, that will help them out or maybe overnight I don't know I hope it's overnight that, that way they can um, stay away from here I don't know any other beekeepers around here um, nobody I you know I've been on the Facebook page for my neighborhood and uh, I haven't seen I haven't seen anybody talk about them so I'm assuming that there's no other beehives around here but you know of course they can fly you know five miles out or whatever two miles out two miles I think it is maybe up to five miles but uh, and then uh, maybe that's where they're coming from I don't know but uh, um, uh, we're here north I don't know anything about that area because uh, we never go that way you know, we don't have to go that way so uh, we never take the road up north sometimes we do when we just when my dog ran away one time and uh, you know but she came back so that's good <laughs> that's a different story but anyways I just thought I would show you and hopefully this doesn't happen to you <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been happening you know a lot since it's the fall and then there's a drought so there's no there's no nectar out there anymore and since I've been feeding the bees and the reason I've been feeding the bees is because you know it was a small swarm if you haven't seen my videos uh, when I got that swarm you can check it out it's gonna be up there on the top right um, also if you wanna you know check out what's going on before YouTube you can follow me on Instagram it's gotta be right there on the bottom and um, yeah I mean make sure if you I don't know if you like this video hit the like so that way I can know that people are actually uh, enjoying the uh, V the B uh, the B videos cuz I, I like I said I just got this swarm uh, August early August and uh, so been trying to uh, <laughs> raise some I at least keep make them survive over the winter and then uh, hopefully you know come back on uh, uh, spring then I can actually start you know split them if they because they seem to be doing pretty good I, I, I when I opened it earlier I saw some uh, comb so uh, more comb that they were building so they're still in there building their comb and uh, hopefully you know um, they can survive the winter but building more comb around them and I know the nectar I mean the the honey syrup um, that I've been feeding them the honey syrup <laughs> the sugar water syrup that I've been feeding them you know they've been feeling their their uh, comb with that and uh, it's got some vitamins amino acids and all that stuff so um, I know it doesn't replace nectar but does better than nothing in my opinion and uh, eventually I just want to you know do all natural so they can gather their own um, nectar and then um, hopefully you know they get enough nectar throughout the the, uh, the fall I mean the, the fall the uh, spring next year so I don't have to feed them anymore during the drought season but uh, which is in the summer to so have another one in the summer but that's gonna be it for this video and like I say you know if you really like these videos you know hit the like that way I can know that uh, that actually people do enjoy watching my B videos and um, and make sure you like and subscribe and and that's it thank you for watching and have an awesome day or rest of the, the week whatever whenever you're watching this video <laughs>